Looking a little hot out there again across the valley, and if you've been outdoors today, you notice maybe it's still breezy, but not quite as breezy as it was the last couple of days. I think the winds are still gusting enough to make it feel maybe slightly cooler, but look at the numbers. It's still 100 in McAllen, 100 in Edinburgh, and also in Rio Grande City, mostly in the 90s in the lower valley, but it's actually cooled back a little bit in some areas from the highs here over the last hour or two. The heat index is still above 100 degrees, pretty, pretty much hot and humid weather everywhere in the valley, and these numbers how hot it feels if you're standing in the shade uh, will continue the next several afternoons. There is still a pretty good breeze blowing, maybe not quite as gusty. You know, we don't have the 35 to almost 40 mile per hour gusts anymore, but about 25 to 30 in some areas. And I think the winds will be a little less tomorrow and for the weekend. I mean, still a light breeze around, but not as gusty as it was earlier this week. So your day planner for Friday looking at about the same temperature wise. 80s in the morning, 90s by lunchtime and about 99 for an average of 5 p.m. But there's a wide range there by afternoon from near 90 along the coast, about 105 in Star County tomorrow. Across the valley and nearby areas, dry weather here, hardly a cloud in the sky. If you look out your window now, it's very clear for the most part. And off to the west, there are a couple showers and storms in the mountains of Mexico, but none of this is able to come our way. So again, you may see some clouds way in the distant sky near sunset, especially if you're in Star County, but nothing coming this direction. Elsewhere in Texas, a couple of showers and storms occasionally up to the north, but again, none of this is able to move south either. So we're kind of locked in the hot and dry weather for the next several days. Future track shows this trend as well. We have this upper level high, which is across the northern Gulf and kind of angled across South Texas, and that keeps the air sinking, keeps it sort of a little bit drier overall in the mid level, so we don't get enough moisture to build up any showers. So tomorrow should be a dry day and hot as well with any showers and storms over the mountains of Mexico or far away from us. And about the same going into Saturday. If you have weekend plans, basically hot and sunny like it is today. Again, maybe not quite as breezy, but the hot and dry weather continues. There is a weak little upper level disturbance that rolls into the picture here by Sunday. This isn't anything tropical, but it's kind of a elongated area of a little bit of unstable air moving westward. And as it gets closer, we should stay dry on Sunday and probably dry on Monday for the eclipse all day. There might be one random sea breeze shower briefly, but as this gets closer, this model run ends early Monday morning, but this little disturbance could be over us by about Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday to give us uh, not a good, good chance for rain, but a small chance for rain, maybe like some sea breeze type showers in a few spots or a weak thunderstorm. Again, that kicks in about next Tuesday. Until then, dry, dry and dry for Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So your weekend is looking again, sunny, hot and dry. You can always check the weather, of course, on your KRGV mobile app if you're headed out of town for the weekend to see if there are any showers off to the north. But uh, things again looking pretty dry here in the valley. So something we'll touch on more in the six o'clock hour, the tropics, which are quiet in the Gulf. But you see there is a new tropical storm, Harvey, about ready to enter the Caribbean. This disturbance could be getting close to about the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico in about uh, five or six days. So it's something we'll keep an eye on down the road. But the first 1570 forecast through the weekend, highs in the upper 90s near 100, plenty of sunshine and not much of a change until next week. when We could see a couple of daytime showers, about a 10 to 20 percent chance for rain. Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. We'll keep tracking those rain chances in your first one five forecasts throughout the evening. Oscar.